It is still an active investigation. The police are still here doing some touch up. They we understand there may be some search warrants gathering some evidence, but you're right. This was a barricaded gunman started around 1 30 ended around 4 o'clock and we're also told that the suspect who did barricade himself in the house may in fact be dead. And what started this? We're not 100% certain, but there apparently was uh, some kind of an issue between a girlfriend's uh, boyfriend who may have shot the girlfriend's brother. The girlfriend's boyfriend then barricaded himself in the house, and that's where we find him. He was in fact dead. Uh, the neighbors are reacting. Take a look. Okay, I know I came out the house and I seen a guy laying in the field screaming and the lady was standing over him saying he got shot, he, he shot him, he shot him. And then around 1.30 Tuesday afternoon in broad daylight, the alleged shooter runs back into his home. A call to 911 and a barricaded gunman situation was declared. Once the officers got there, they found the victim. He was shot three times in the lower extremities, 12 legs. That person was transported to an area hospital with nine life threatening ending to this time. But the special response unit, full gear, guns drawn, surround the house, pleading with the suspect to give up. I just know him as my neighbor across the street from me, but, you know, he keeps to himself. He's a quiet guy. He come out, he wave as he drive by, you know, and that's it. But around 4 o'clock, a rush of police storm in the house, and the barricaded situation declared over. Sources tell Fox 2 that the man is dead. Oh, I'm confused right now because I'm trying to find out so close to home, you know, what's really happening. All right, we're a little confused as well because the Detroit police will not give us the specifics of what happened. Oh, well, although we are told by a number of sources that the suspect that did barricade himself here on Carlin Street uh, is uh, dead. And as you can see, there's still police here. They're still executing search warrants, still trying to get some evidence to try to put this whole incident together. I'm live here on Detroit's West Side. Dave, I'll send it, it back to you. Yeah, Charlie, given what happened in North Carolina where officers there were executing a search warrant and somebody fired upon them, you, you saw the precautions being taken and, and how far they're keeping back uh, people. They, they don't want to take any chances here, do they? No, in fact, Schaefer was completely closed almost from Chicago uh, all the way to where I am, which is probably, oh, a good quarter mile anyway. And the neighborhood, this is a neighborhood here where a lot of neighbors were very curious about what happened, but some uh, neighbors can't even get back into their home as we speak. They're waiting right uh, right beside me over here uh, trying to get back in. Obviously, the police want to make sure that they have all of the, uh, uh, you know, the T's crossed, I's dotted, that type of thing, uh, because this obviously now has turned into uh, what we believe to be a fatal investigation. And again, um, we'll have to just wait until the police finish what happened. But again, a barricaded gunman appears to be dead here on Detroit's west side.